is this the same as what most people will call the Gulf Stream? It's a little bit different. Uh, the Gulf Stream, if you talk to physical oceanographers, if you talk to the purists, will tell you that the Gulf Stream is really this very intense uh, current system uh, that sort of hugs the southeast U.S. coast um, and uh, sort of breaks off at Cape Hatteras in North Carolina and heads out into the open into the open ocean northward uh, towards uh, Greenland and Iceland. Well, technically, the Gulf Stream is really only the, the boundary of that current system as it hugs the U.S. east coast, and it's driven primarily by wind patterns. Now, that portion of the Gulf Stream that breaks off at Cape Hatteras and heads northward, uh, northward well, that, that, that component of the circulation pattern is actually driven by something else. It's driven by contrasts in ocean water density that are in turn driven by contrasts in temperature and salinity. We sometimes call that the thermohaline circulation or the uh, North Atlantic drift or the conveyor belt circulation or part of the meridional overturning circulation. So that's the component that we are talking about. Technically, it's not really the Gulf Stream, although um, in uh, sort of uh, common parlance, it is sometimes called the, the Gulf Stream, referred to as the Gulf Stream.